The tubeless Tandem Moby is real. It is out in the wild and being shown at conferences, and it's coming even sooner than you think. And today, we're getting into it. Welcome to the show, I'm Justin, I have type 1 diabetes, and on here I talk all things diabetes tech, news, and research through my podcast on Mondays, videos like this on Fridays, on social media, and our website, diabetic.info, where we've also got a newsletter and the latest and greatest in diabetes tech and research, so you can sign up with that link in the show notes. But today, we are focused on the Tandem Moby Tubeless. So I actually just reviewed the Tandem Moby. I wore it for almost three months and it was a cool experience. There were a lot of things I liked and a lot of things I didn't like. And some of those things that I didn't enjoy were the tubing and the current patch that you can use with it that looked pretty medical and large, but this future model that current users and future users of Moby are gonna be able to use is gonna change the game. The tubeless market is heating up. You've got Medtronic working on a new tubeless pump. We've talked about that here. I've already got a YouTube video that gets into it. You should watch that next. And Beta Bionics, they're working on their tubeless pump. And I've got a video of that coming out soon. And of course, you've got the Omnipod 5, which I've tried out as well. I've talked about that on here. There's so much going on in this space. and. I think that the future is tubeless, or at least that's one part. In fact, my video of the next generation of pumps, that was one of the pillars I set. There were other pillars, which you'll have to find out in that video. I'll put that in the show notes. But today is all about tubeless Moby, or what some people inside Tandem are calling Toby. And there is a lot to get into about this thing. Wear time, it's actually longer than I thought it was. It's got a whole new design. I'm gonna get into how it works based off of a video that I saw that being used, so I'll explain what that looks like. And I'll also touch on the future of Tandem because that affects this tubeless Moby. And remember, this video is not medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. Always consult with your physician before making changes to your healthcare. All right, let's get into it. So here's what it looks like. It looks very similar to the current model, but notice how the adhesive is much smaller than the current adhesive patch that is used with the tubed model. That was actually one of my biggest gripes with the current model is it's a lot of surface area that it takes up. It's a weird shape. It looks very medical. The blanket that it kind of sits in just adds this extra material to it that makes it a little clunky looking to me. And then of course the tube coming out of it just adds a bit more than I want on my body. Whereas Omnipod, it's got this all-in-one compartment. It's very smooth, very simple, and very clean looking. So let's break down this image. First, you've got the durable component. That is the brains of the pump, the reusable piece that you get for those, you know, that four-year contract, if that's how you got it. And that is reused every few days. And that is the same device that everyone who's using Moby currently will be able to use with the tubeless version, the same exact durable component. What changes here is the cartridge. The current cartridge is replaced around every three days. It's filled up with 200 units of insulin and it's got like a little piece coming up because that is what connects to the tube and the infusion set. Well, this new cartridge will be around the same shape, but along the top, there's a new piece. And it actually makes the whole Moby, when you put it on, slightly taller than the current one. From what I understand, this cartridge will hold the same 200 units of insulin, but it's got that new piece at the top that's a bit of a slider, and I'll get into that in a second. The next piece of the puzzle, which I don't have an image for, I did see video of it, but I had to take it down. Tandem asked me to, I said sure, but there is video of it out there. It is a patch that goes on your skin. So I'm expecting you to use some sort of applicator, maybe similarly looking to the Dexcom G7 applicator, that you place on your skin, push it in, it inserts the infusion set and leaves a patch. Now that new cartridge, it has that slider on top. That's what allows you to slide in the pump onto the patch, it clips in place, and then when you wanna remove it, you push over the slider to the side and lift up the pod, and there you go. You can take it in and out whenever you want. The pump does have an IPX28 rating for water resistance. I know that Tandem doesn't recommend you swimming or showering with it on, but I believe that you can get away with a lot of those things and it should be fine. Don't quote me on that, I'm not a doctor. Overall, I'm much happier with the look of the tubeless Moby over the current version. It is just much cleaner looking. It is a little bit taller because of that slider, but I don't mind that. It is just a cleaner looking device. What do you think of the design of this? Let me know in the comments. If you're an Omnipod user or if you've thought about Omnipod, 
when it comes to just looks, would you consider the tubeless Moby over the Omnipod or not because of the designs? Let me know what you think. I personally think that the Omnipod is still a bit cleaner looking, and that's because Omnipod was designed to be a tubeless pump, where Moby is this hybrid pump that can be tubed with, you know, long tubing, short tubing, or with this new patch, uh, which is cool. It has versatility and it has its own benefits, which I'll get into because there are some incredible benefits which could come from this. But overall, I think that Omnipod is just a cleaner looking device. So that could still be an appealing thing for Omnipod users or for people when they're deciding between the two. Now, here's where things get interesting. Tandem's Steady Set Infusion Set, which is an extended wear of seven days, was just cleared by the FDA. Now, this Steady Set has a few advancements over the current sets that are being used. First is that you can easily just put it on with one hand, which is better for dexterity. You just push these buttons, it will apply it very similar to the current applicators we're using with CGMs. And this will be great for people who have problems with dexterity. Maybe they only have one hand, they'll be able to put this on. That's fantastic. The new tubing here will also be easier to latch on to the infusion set. It won't be a like pinch and remove, it will be more of a twist and snap, which is supposed to be easier too. Now, this other piece of information as to why it lasts these seven full days, I got this from David on. There is a coil within the cannula that reduces the possibilities of occlusion with the cannula. Now, there's also three holes within the cannula to allow for the insulin to get out. So if one of the holes gets clogged, there are still two more where the insulin can come out. And that's what allows this to last seven days. Now, Medtronic already has an extended infusion set, which is very popular. This is the second one, and it's great to see pumps lasting these longer wear times. Now, what about tubeless Moby? Well, what I just found out was that the tubeless Moby, the patch, the infusion set in that is being created with the steady set, with this seven-day extended wear. That means for the first time ever, we will have a patch pump that lasts seven days. Whoa. I mean, that is more than double what the current model of the Omnipod can do. And that is just such great news and going to be incredible for packing for vacation, less things to worry about. And I'm just here for it. And I'd like to see this seven day length come to other products like Omnipod and even Beta Bionics tubeless pump, which is coming out in two years, they say, which only has a three-day lifespan. So I'm wondering if this, you know, tubeless Moby will push Omnipod and Beta Bionics to actually have a longer wear time. And, and I think they're going to kind of need it. There was a study done with the extended infusion set with 260 people, and they found that 78.4% of those who wore this set over this like 12 session period lasted the full seven days. So this is a really good infusion set. So we can count on it. That is super exciting news. Now, you may be wondering though, well, how are we gonna wear this for seven days if it only holds 200 units of insulin? Well, two things here. One is you can take out the pump, fill up a new cartridge, put it on, and just stick it on. Next is it depends on your total daily insulin, right? So people who have type, who have type two may not get as many days out of this, especially 200 units is usually not a lot for, for that community. For the type one community, and in my case, my total daily insulin can be somewhere from you know, 30 to 45 units, right? So I did the math. If it was 30 units per day, then I can get 6.67 days use out of this patch. Now, give or take, I'll probably get anywhere from four to six days of use with this seven day infusion set. That's still amazing, and it's going to depend on my habits, how much I'm eating, how many you know units I'm needing over that period of time, if I'm sick, whatever. But still, I mean, going from a three-day to four, five, six is a huge leap, and it, it, I think one day we're going to be looking back at diabetes and being like, you only wore those for three days? And that's kind of what, ha what has happened with CGMs, right? CGMs used to be a much shorter period of time and they've gotten longer and longer and longer. Now we're at 15 days. I actually had a whole episode on my podcast 
with an incredible guest, Grazia Aleppo. Uh, and she talked about the history of CGM. So you should listen to that next. And we go over like how, you know, inaccurate and short term they were to, to where they are now. And it, it really makes you appreciate where we are. It's so easy to complain, but yeah. That's where we're headed. Very exciting. Now, what do you think about the extended infusions? That are you are any of you currently using one with Medtronic? Let me know in the show notes your experience and what do you think of the extended infusion set? Would that get you to go to tandem if you're currently using another pump? Let me know in the comments. Now, when is this coming? Right? You may be like, oh, this is probably not coming forever. Um, this is coming. In 2026, the Steady Set Infusion Set for the the T Slim X2, the Tandem Moby if you use the tube, and with this patch pump, and the patch pump is coming in 2026. And from things I'm hearing, it could be early 2026, like Q1. Don't quote me on that, but that is what I'm hearing, and that is really exciting. And I really hope that I can try out Tandem Moby again with another like return policy. Uh, because I really want to try this out for you and I want to make some videos on it. So uh, I'll have to find out. Do you know the answer to that? Let me know in the comments. I had someone from Tandem come on my podcast to talk about, you know, the future of Tandem products. And so you should listen to that next. I actually have to listen to it again myself, but we really got into like where things are going. But let's put up this investor slide from a while back and kind of look at the timeline. So you have the steady set infusion set, which is here and cleared, and it's going to be coming out in 2026. Then according to this slide, the T Slim X3 would be coming next. Now, I don't know what's going on there, if that's still on track or if tubeless Moby is now kind of before that. Maybe that's like the priority now. So unsure, but maybe we will see an updated T Slim X3 before tubeless Moby. That is possible. I will keep you updated here. But then we've got the tubeless Moby. And then after that is their Siggy pump that they're working on, a tubeless first pump. It has a much sleeker design, similar to Omnipod in like the cleanliness of the look. And so that's kind of what's next. And it's a very exciting piece of tech. I have a video of it on YouTube. You should watch that next for sure. Similarly, you put on a patch with an applicator, you slide that on. But interestingly, it also uses insulin cartridges that you load in, uh, making it super easy to just you know pop in some more insulin and wear it longer. I can only assume that Steady Set seven day infusion set will be on that too. So hopefully we get more information on that pump soon and I'll let you know on here, but go watch that video next. It is an exciting time for Tubeless. This Tubeless Moby is gonna be so cool. Who is excited? Let me know in the comments. You got Beta Bionics and Medtronic working on their Tubeless pumps. Omnipod has definitely gotta be working on Omnipod 6. Very excited to see what comes there. I actually did a whole video on like my wants for a future Omnipod. That is in uh, the show notes, I'll throw it down there. That goes into like what I wanna see on future Tubeless pumps. And I'll also be writing on diabetic.info an article all about how I think the tubeless Moby is going to impact the landscape and what other pump companies need to do. If that's not already up, it will be soon. That's going to be up on diabetic.info for all access members. And thank you to all of my all access members for your support. You allow me to continue creating content like this. That's free for everyone. You support the channel and also you get some good goodies with, you know, articles and monthly live Q and A's. And I'm excited. We've got some coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and listen to the podcast on Mondays, whether it be on YouTube, in video, or on podcast platforms. Just search Diabet Tech. I'm Justin. Give this video a like, and I'll take you later.